Hi Diamonds, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cecilia and we talk about law of assumption and manifestation over here. Guys, I am finally back on YouTube after two months of not posting. So in these two months, I have had a lot happen. I finished my thesis, I got this printed. I ticked off probably like three things that I wanted to manifest in 2024. So I got new besties, I went back into the crypto market even though I have not touched my crypto for like about three years. I gotta put this down. And I kept manifesting stuff I wanted in crypto, even though this channel is not about crypto at all. But it's been really, really fun. And <laughs> oh my God, yes, I'm coughing. And I've managed to successfully learn everything that I wanted in like a super, super, please stop, super short amount of time. Without getting too much into it, I learned what I wanted to learn that I thought was gonna take a year in a month. And to all the designers out there, I don't even know if you guys know this platform, but I was wanting to learn Figma and I learned it in a fucking day without needing video tutorials. Like that is crazy to me. And okay, I have new plans for this channel. Like I really, really want this channel to be about me besides manifestation. So I want it to be a combination. So it's kind of like this, like we're vibing, we're talking. Cause honestly, I've always wanted this channel to be like in a FaceTime format. So like, it feels like I'm talking to you as a friend. And I think I'm probably gonna go in that direction. Also, why is my face so red for no reason? Um. Oh yeah, and for this, this glow, I found out, I finally found out that people use this um Chanel glow stick to achieve this glow because I was finding this for a long ass time. That's why I manifested to know which product gives people that glowy facial look. Now, now, oh yes, I want to show you guys this too. Okay, now we are going to start talking about the manifestation methods that I used to manifest for fun. Let me tell you, this is gonna be so funny because I'm gonna share with you guys like success stories that I share on my Patreon that I don't think is a good idea to share on YouTube, but I will still share it this time. So if you've been following my community tab on YouTube, you would know that I use ChatGPT to manifest because it's literally the best visualizing tool. Like, please, you can ask ChatGPT to write you emails, to role play, to write articles. What can you not do with it that is word-based for you to visualize? So without naming names or anything, have I used ChatGPT to roleplay as my teacher that serves me, <laughs> that would listen to every single order that I give it and say that, oh yes, I will give you Zoom classes. Maybe. And I also would not deny that I used ChatGPT to pretend to be my teacher, sending an email saying that, oh, presentations are going to be on Zoom and you don't have to come to class in the morning on that day. Did I lie? Did I So I'm telling you, do not sleep on AI. You can literally turn off your brain cells and not even try to visualize in your mind and just instruct AI to give you the visualizing material that you want and read it on a daily basis or read it whenever you want. Here's an example I'm gonna give you. So if you want money, right? And you have identified the source that you want money from, why can't you ask AI to draft you a proper email, a professional email that is coming from that source telling you that yes, you do have the money like is that not amazing now moving on to the second method people might already know this but you can use metaphors to say goodbye to your blockages that are non-existent in the first place blockages are illusions for example if you think that there's something hard to do that there's something hard to overcome if you want to visualize yourself overcoming that difficulty maybe you can think of somebody unclogging a pipe or something simple like that loading bar reaching 100 percent having certain metaphors can actually help you see things in a different perspective because it makes you see things from a bird's eye view instead of being in that little box that you've put yourself inside of they're not wrong when they say think outside of the box because this box is the 3d and you own this box you are reality itself you have control over this box. Therefore, you should take on your role of the person in charge of making decisions to shift whatever it is inside this 3D box. Third method. A thing I love doing is embodying characters. Like if I see a character that I love in a movie or a TV show or anime, oh my God, my stomach is growling. Then I am 100% embodying that character. Do you know why I am so sassy? It's probably because of my younger self not knowing anything about manifestation, but still embodying characters that I loved. So I love characters from High School Musical, Victoria, Glee, um, Mean Girls, cheerleading, bring it on movies that are super cringe now to watch. And for the version of me now, knowing manifestation, I do love embodying characters like Blair Waldorf, Fallon Carrington from Dynasty. I also like the blonde girl from Scream Queens. 
wow i literally can't speak like scream queens scream queens and guess who i'm embodying right now like not right now right now but you know for shifting my state i am choosing to embody the character from soul leveling you know the anime because that man is undefeatable like this man is so fucking powerful <laughs> and life is simply a game like it really is Thank you for listening to my British accent. And for the last method that I'm going to talk about, I made this idea for myself because of the concept of living in the end and also for me to document certain affirmations that I did so I could repost it over here when the success story actually happens. It's basically scripting, but for every single time that I script, I would write down that it is a success story. It's done. Boom, it's done. I don't need to show off or anything. I don't need to tell anybody about it. But to me, it is a success story done over with. So for that, I usually just write it in my notes or on Twitter so I can mark down the time and I would write down success story full stop at the end of my affirmation or scripting. And that's basically it. It's like living in the end. Before we end this video, I just want to say do not get attached to any method that I said or anybody said because it isn't about how this method is better than the other or how this method is like the one method that makes sure you get your manifestation. No, it is not like that. It is about understanding that everything is you pushed out. You are source. You are the one that determines all. And therefore, to make sure that you are making the decisions that you want to make with certainty and clarity, you do whatever practice that you think is fun, is enjoyable, and helps you remind yourself of who you're choosing to be right now. Because who you're choosing to be is equal to your reality. You are reality. Who you are equals reality. And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so more people can watch this video. If you want to share your thoughts, go ahead and share them in the comments so we can talk more and be besties. Because by now, you should know that I actually do reply to a lot of comments. If you want to reach out to me and be friends, my socials are linked in the description box down below. And if you're wondering about coaching, I stopped it for a while. But I'm going to reopen it in May, like the mid of May. So probably after uploading another video i will be talking about it unlike before i'm planning to open different options for people who want coaching it's not just going to be one option where you text me for the entire month i'm going to open more options so until then stay tuned and i will see you in the next video